a shalom 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 first and foremost i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai waharuka kodash yahweh is the true name of the most high god yahweh shai is the true name of his only begotten son whom the world ignorantly call jesus yeshua jehovah etc and the holy ghost is the Ruka Kodash, which gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shall I warm also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. At the brother Yara Yaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do a quick one regarding the issue that's going on in Israel. You know, that's the issue with um with the Sikari calling um calling the adoration of Yahweh Shai, who is the son of the most high Yahweh, calling his adoration an um a sort of idolatry, you know. So first of all, we've been warned, we've been warned in several passages that in the last times, you know, there are going to be lots of false prophets. You know, people would not stand, they would no longer stand, you know, um, sound doctrines. They will give heed to doctrines of men. There is a heavy spirit moving lately. And this spirit is that of, you know, spirit of confusion there is a spirit that is moving heavily lately in which these spirits their objective is that of taking you out of this truth you know that's why we're told to hold strong to that which we already have you know and let no man take this truth away from you many groups many camps are paid out you know to scatter the flock and many they are being possessed by reprobate spirits, you know, and their main objective is to cause confusion and take you back to that point where you started from. Now, some people are going to listen to this Sikari doctrine, you know, saying that um, um, we, we, whenever, wherever we see the, the name of the Most High Yahweh in the, in the, in the, in the scriptures, we always put Yahaba Shem Yahushai. You know, some people some people would see it and you know it was saying it. That's I'm going to advise everyone to go watch the video that the brothers and the elders have been doing. In order to get a quick understanding, you should go to the page of um of the elder apostle Gaba, you know, the daily edification tree, you know, and four, you know, you should go check out the video so you can see the video of what these people are really saying. And some people who are not in the spirit are going to hear something like that and they'll believe it's something right you know it's going to sound right to their ears and you know find themselves back at square one where they started from so hey we really need to be careful these days because there is this heavy spirits you know going around you know trying to tear up shit you know that's why we really need to pray to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai not to take away spirits from us. Not to get us into the hands of these wicked men, which are part of the Israelites. You know, I'm going through the scriptures, you know, checking out certain things, you know. I can now see that these people, they are probably the reincarnation of those wicked Jews, you know, who refused Yahweh Shai back in those days, you know. They're saying, how, how, why should you worship the Son? You should worship the Father. In which it is clear, the Most High has actually given the Son His grace, you know. He, he is the Her of Yahweh Shai, uh, of the Most High Yahweh, you know. He is to be respected. He is to be worshipped. Because only through Him we can get to the Father. It's just like being in a, in, in a, in a, in a job scenario where you have um, the, the worker, the workers, you have the employee, then the employee, you know, has like um, people under them that, 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 
that supervise the jobs, you know. You damn have to respect those people because most of the time you can't even get to the employer to speak to the employer. You need to go through those people who are kept before you, you know. You can't say you wouldn't respect those people and respect the employer directly because the, the employers are not always there. That's just like a similitude of what's going on. Yahweh Shai is the her. Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He is to be respected. Then the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he is to be highly respected. But we can get to the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh only through his son Yahweh Shai. Now let's get some scriptures and you know going to make this quick and hopefully it's going to be edifying now this is the book of i would like to start from the book of now this is the book of john chapter one i'll read from the first verse which quotes in the beginning was the word no in the beginning was the word okay and the word was with god and the word was god What's the understanding of this? It says, in the beginning was the word, okay? And the word was with the power. And the word was power, okay? Now, check this out. It says, the same was in the beginning with God, okay? All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made, okay? So, without this word was nothing made and it says remember this word is also god okay so it says without that word was nothing made in him was life and the life was the light of men which is this truth this light means understanding wisdom knowledge and understanding and darkness means ignorance okay so he says, in him was life, in him was life and was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Okay. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. And remember, that light is the word. Now, let's do a quick recap because this is important. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Okay? And it says, and the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John, that's John the Baptist. The same came for a witness to be a witness of the light that all men through him might, might live. So John the Baptist came to be a witness of this light, which is the word. It says, he was not that light. John the Baptist was not that light because people thought it was the Messiah, but was sent to be a witness of that light. Okay, so John the Baptist was sent to be a witness of that light. And, oh, okay, that was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. So that light is the light that lighted every man that cometh into the, into the world. You know, if you come into this truth, that light is what gives you the knowledge, you know, and that light comes directly from the sun, the word you get, which is the truth, you know. And it says, he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. So he was in the world that was Yahweh Shai, okay. The world was made by him. The world was made by Yahweh Shai and the world knew him not. He came unto his own. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Okay, he came to the Israelites, and the Israelites didn't receive him, just like Sikari is not receiving him, you know, just like IUIC is not receiving him, calling him a different name, you know. 
But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So you see, here it's just giving you a, re- a quick recap of everything, you know. And the beginning was Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is that light that, that's, that comes to men, that enlightens their mind into this truth, you know. And if you believe Yahweh Shai, He's going to make you become the son of God. He gives you the power to become the son of God. He brings you close to his father. And that's what this is all about, you know. Yahweh Shai brings you back to your real heritage, who is your father. He brings you and he takes you to his father. That's what Yahweh Shai does, okay? Now, let's get a quick understanding of this verse, you know, that says... In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now, let's get the proof that this was actually speaking of Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High. Now, you get that precept from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 13, which quotes, I'm going to read from verse 11 which says this is revelation 19 11 it says and i saw heaven opened this is john okay this is john the revelator one of the apostles of the most high uh, of the of the son of the most high yahweh whose name is yahweh shai okay he had this vision on the island of patmos where he was sent on exile okay and he say and i saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. And this person is talking of the son of the Most High. His name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, he says, His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but himself. Now, that many crown represents he coming and taking over the kingdoms of this earth okay this is where the point is it says and he was clothed clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and now you can get this precept from the book of um of isaiah oops my bad it just kept my mind which says um uh, who is this that comment from bozra now, let me just quickly verify that. Bozra. Hey. Bozra. And this is the book of Isaiah 63, 1. It says, Who is that that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Okay. I speak in righteousness, mighty to save. That's I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. And this is talking of Yahweh Shai. The reason why his blood is um his vest was painted in red is because you know he's coming back to judge and destroy people. He's coming to destroy the wicked, he's coming to destroy two two um two thirds of the house of Israel. Okay, those who don't believe in him, those who don't worship him, because he is the only one that is going to get you that um that um that ticket to get to the father. Without Yahweh Shah, you can't get to the father. So he says, he says, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And his name is called the Word of God. So now we can connect it back to this first John that says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. As speaking of Yahweh Shai. Now, remember, it is said here, 
And it says, um, it says in verse 12, it says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. Okay, so how can you believe on his name without, you know, worshipping him, you know? And that's, that's the hypocrisy of these camps, man. You know, they're trying to get too deep, but the Most High is not dealing with them. Now, if you go to the book of Hebrew 1, which the elder Apostle Gabba brought out in this video, it tells you of how the Most High gave him the power. He also commanded the angels to worship him. Now, if you go to the book of Revelation as well, I think is it the third on the fifth chapter or so, the fifth chapter, you know, it tells you of the elders that bowed to him and worshipped him, you know. But we're not going to get into that because lots of people are getting into that. Let me get into some other scriptures that I haven't seen yet. But probably people must have used them to bring out these lessons. So this is the book of John chapter 10. Verse 9. Which quotes, I am the door. Okay. By me, if any ent if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. And who is this speaking? This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Let's get the red letter. No, to just so when you see the red letter, it's Yahweh Shai, the son of the most high speaking. He says, I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find fat pasture. Okay. So how can you go in through a door without um, referencing that door? You know, Yahweh Shai, how can you go in to meet the Father without, you know, worshipping him and giving him the adoration that he deserves? Remember, it's told in the book of Psalms, you know, it says, Kiss the son, lest he be angry with you. We are meant to kiss Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, um, we are meant to kiss Yahweh Shai, you know? Can we are meant to kiss Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? Let's put it like that, you know, because you can get to the Father only through the Son. Now, let's get some more precepts. This is still the book of John. I'll go to the next chapter, and in verse 25, I always like to put in this verse 25, he quotes. Yahweh Shai said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? This is the question that is meant to be referred to the to, to, to the Sikari, because you know these people. The Most High is taking the spirit away from them. And mind you, this is the same group that on the night of Passover, they were going to the, to the nightclub to get some booty. Okay? This is the same group that tells you that the writings of Apostle Paul um, are not the writings of God. You know? This is the same group that tells you things like um, um, the word of God no, the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the Bible. Now, this, this is a very reprobate group, man. If you know what's good for you and to those who are actually part of that group, watching and listening to them, stop listening to those people. Stick, stick to one group, which is the great millstone. This is where you get the 100% truth. This is where your spirit is fed. Now, let's get a couple more scriptures and round this up. This is the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 2, which quotes, By whom also we have access by faith into this grace. Now, let me start from verse 1, but the point is actually in verse 2. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh, through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? He says, we being justified by faith because you need to have faith 
faith is actually the the pillar stone of everything if you're faithless this truth is not for you therefore being justified by faith we are justified because we have faith we believe that we are saved okay we believe that we are we are going to be saved in the day of trouble we believe that um the father we are being reconciled to the father all is done through faith you say therefore being justified by faith we have peace with yahweh through our lord yahweh shai so yahweh shai is the mediator is the one that helps us have peace through with the father you know without yahweh shai we can't make peace with the father it says therefore being justified by faith we have peace with yahweh through our lord yahweh shai by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand okay so through yahweh shai we have the access we have access by faith into grace okay so yahweh shai is actually is the pillar man without yahweh shai we can't make it to the father so it's we need to worship yahweh shai as well as we worship the father you know you can't get to the most high yahweh without yahweh shai so we are meant to worship yahweh shai yahweh shai is to be worshipped now let me get one more no probably one or two more precepts this is the book of matthew chapter 11 i'll read from verse 25 and this is yahweh shai speaking At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, that is Yahweh, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and thou hast revealed them unto babes. Okay? Which means, you know, the Most High has hidden all these things from the so called wise people of this world, and he has given them to babes, you know, those who are humble those who are meek people like us people like the elders the apostles man they are not so-called great men of this society you know they are, they are even called bombs by other by other um israelite camps like iuic you know so they are disrespected they are actually the babes of this kingdom you know the most has given them this powerful truth that is not given to the rest it says i thank thee O father yahweh lord of heaven and earth because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes even so yahweh for so it seemed good in thy sight all things are delivered unto me of my father yahweh okay all things are delivered unto me of my father yahweh and no man knoweth the son but the father so no man knows the son but the father. The only person that knows the father is Yah Yahweh Shai. Okay? So you he is the mediator that can help you get to the father. Now check this out. Neither knoweth any man the father save the son. You don't know the father, man. Nobody knows the father. Okay? The only person that knows the father is the son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Let me read it again. It says, Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whom to whomsoever the Son reveal him. So you can't know the Father if the Son doesn't reveal you to the Father. You can't know the Father if the Son doesn't reveal you to reveal you to the Father. So the Son is to be worshipped. You know, all things are delivered unto me of my father. All things are delivered unto Yahweh Shai from the father. So you can't get to the father, you filthy, whatever, you filthy man. Sikari, the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you if you don't change, man. Because what you're doing is confusion. That, that group is going to be destroyed, man. Something huge is going to happen to that group if they don't change. Because they are perversing this truth, man. They are, they, are, they, are, they are leading astray the flocks. How can you say such thing that worshiping Yahweh Shai is, 
is, is idolatry. That's the speech of a devil. That's the speech of a devil. Now, let me read this again. It says, All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will um, to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. So we get to know the Father through the Son. Come unto me, all ye that labor, that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Why is he talking about himself here? Why is he saying, take my yoke upon you and learn of me? For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's true. And these Hebrew Israelite groups like Sikari, they're just looking for all different ways to be the devils that they are actually in their in their in their past life. You know, they never believed in Yahweh Shai. They never trusted Yahweh Shai. They were not true to this gospel, you know. They were only looking for fame and all different kinds of things. And it is now revealing again. You know, we are subject to, to our spirits, you know. The spirit of a prophet is subject to a prophet. So if they don't do things that are right, that are righteous, which the a prophet would do, it means that they, they are not they are not they are not prophets, man. Now to put the icing on the cake, I would go to the book of John, chapter 14, 6. I believe many people must have used this already, which says. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So <laughs> I don't really need to <laughs> I don't really need to say much on that, you know. I don't need to say much on that, you know. And hopefully, you know, this lesson was edifying, you know. It's just to have my own little sense to this madness that is going on with the Sikari, you know, the Sikari, they are known, they are known for being reprobate spirits, man. The most is taking away spirits from these groups and these groups are going to be destroyed if they don't change, if they don't repent because there is no longer time, man. Having said this, I hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the most high Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakwadash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.